Alrighty folks, welcome and bienvenue, chez Jeff Solo. Hope everyone is doing grand -vous. Uh Today we're going to be doing a little look at the Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars action figures made by Hasbro in 1990, I believe. Uh, and the first one up in this little series of reviews is Bruiser the Berserker Baboon, number 7. So here we are, we have a carded version of Bruiser, really nice artwork on the left there. Uh, it's it started off as a comic book and um, they turned it into a cartoon. So yeah, lovely card artwork there. I'm in the mode for stamping toad, big monkey <laughs> uh, or a baboon. On the back here we have a file card. If you would like to read that, pause now. Uh, so there you go. Good guys, bad guys. Good guys, we've got. Let's see if we get a bit closer. There we go. Bucky O'Hare, AFC, or AFC, AFC, yeah, AFC Blinky, uh, Willie DeWitt, Commander Dogstar, Dead Eye Duck, who's just mental, and Bruiser, the Berserker Baboon. The bad guys, always the best. Uh, we've got the Toad Air Marshal on the far left, Toad Borg, which is like a, a robotic toad, basically. Uh, Storm Toad Troopers, they're kind of like Star Wars Storm Troopers, but Toads. Uh, and Al Negator, the purple alligator, who's kind of like a bounty hunter type chap. So, uh, ah, it's, it's, it's really cool. A little bit of a comic strip here. Uh, and on the bottom, 1990, made by Hasbro. We've got Bucky Points, I don't know what they entitled you to get if you saved so many Bucky Points. Um... So, there you go. It was a shame they never made Jenny the girl. I think there was a mould made of Jenny, but they never actually went into production. I think there's a few knocking around prototypes, and they're worth a serious amount of money. Uh, but the line itself is pretty good. Dogstar isn't in many of them. Um, he's kind of the leader of the good guys, Commander Dogstar. Uh, he's it's kind of Bucky O'Hare's boss. But yeah, there you go. So that is a card. I picked this up very cheap as well. The figures themselves are cheap. I think I paid £10 for this. Uh, it has got a crack in the top of the bubble there. But still, worth a tenner of anyone's money, I would have thought. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's the card artwork. And now we'll take a look at the loose figure. Now, he comes with a silver gun. It's exactly the same as the, the one in the carded figure. Uh, just it's a different plastic. Um, I think that's to do with the fact that it's a, that they released them overseas in the rest of Europe. Uh, and I think the European ones, I think it was either the Spanish or French cards, they came with uh, different coloured weapons. It could also be due, due to the fact that um, the, the later figures came with different coloured weapons. It's one of the two, I can't remember, I'm sure someone will drop it in the comments and let us know what the crack is. Because I don't know everything about toys, I wish I did. <laughs> So anyway, this is Bruiser. Really great play value with these chaps. Just solid, colourful, very similar to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure line. Um, great detailing on them. It's so cheap as well. In the aftermarket now, you can pick these up so cheap, even with weapons. I mean, you could get the whole whole set really for probably about twenty quid um, if you're lucky on auction on uh, Evil Bay. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So this is Bruiser. Bit, this one's a bit worn. I have a, I have quite a few of these um, Bucky O'Hare figures. I have multiples, duplicates, triplicates, because I'm quite a fan. Um, but I was going to customise them and turn them into, like, shattered glass, you know, in the Transformers, and have, like, the bad guys as the good guys and the good guys as the bad guys. Don't know, a bit of customisation, just to see what it was like, just for a bit of fun. Um, because, yeah, just because I can. <laughs> but I'll let you have a look at the gun if I can get it out of his paw. Because it's really jammed in there. There you go. So that's the gun. It's the very, it's, it's very kind of teenage mutant ninja teenage mutant ninja turtle esque, uh, the build of these guys. But all in all, a really cool figure, a great toy line, a brilliant cartoon. I can't big these up enough. They're just superb. Uh, so there you go, folks. That's the first one in the line that I'm re reviewing. It is the Bruiser, the Berserker Baboon from Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars. Alright, stay tuned for more. Cheers!